Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we have another new artist alert for the channel. Yes, we're headed all the way back to 1998 to listen to Crack in the Ice, Pins and Needles, and Double Vision by English neo-prog rock band Arena. This band has been on my radar for quite a while, so excited to finally be getting into them. Uh, these are songs one through three on their album The Visitor, their third studio album. The band's styles range from symphonic rock to hard rock. Arena has included former members of the bands Pendragon, Shadowland, Marillion, IQ, and Frost. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community where it's all amazing music all the time. And a reminder to check out my Patreon page with exclusive reactions not found here on YouTube, no time error restrictions, and one full album reaction every month. We had two full albums last month, uh, the Moody Blues and Queen Amazing Albums. Anyway, link is in the description below. All right, here we go. I believe I was told that the three tracks uh, bleed together all as one seamlessly, so I'm going to listen to it straight through as a little 14 plus minute suite. Where will they take me? Will 
guitar. Mm. You held the white rose out just before we parted. Take this moment. Total 80s sound.
great vibe. Just a tingle in my feet, shimmering before my eyes, lying here. Love his lower register. I even touch my face, just a tingle in my throat. A living moment, isolated. Don't walk towards the light. Still got those pins and needles. Turn back and embrace the night. I'm not ready to be taken yet. Don't walk towards the light. Still got those pins and needles. Turn back and hold the I'm not ready to be taken yet This is not my time I'm not ready yet I love that I'm not ready After all After all
Wow, a lot happening there. I get it now. You guys knew I would love this. You were right. It really reminded me of uh, things that IQ has done that I've heard, things that Marillion has done. Interesting that, you know, the band contains members of both of those bands. Wow, I definitely see the influence. Um, dark, spacey, right from the beginning. We're talking about the first song, Crack in the Ice. I'm already in, I'm already sold, you know. Plenty of dramatic, majestic melodies. You already know I love those. Um, Paul Wrightson's vocals, uh, definitely Shades of Fish, and the lead singer of IQ as well. Uh, you know, very similar, at least on first listen. I love the intensity, but the theatrical quality, the diversity, uh, the expressiveness, the um, not over the top, but you know what I mean. A certain voice is required for this type of uh, evocative, big, atmospheric, theatrical, cinematic type of music, and he definitely has it. Not all singers could pull it off. I love that there's plenty of big music going on here, dramatic music, uh, but none of it is loud or harsh, not even the guitars. I love that, um, you know, that balance. We also get some lush keyboard chords in the background during the verses. Absolutely love that. Another cool moment. I found it really interesting that we got an acoustic guitar solo, you know, with the power rock in the background behind it. Really nice contrast. You know, they could have easily put an electric guitar solo, but they chose acoustic, and that really stood out to me. Um, I love the 80s rock ballad callbacks that happened later in the song. Totally sounded like an 80s song, especially with those shimmering guitars. Wow. I see all three songs as like a cinematic journey and, you know, already getting cinematic, especially at the end with this huge explosion. So cool. And after that explosion, wow, the pocket that we sat in for a while, so interesting, very dark, very atmospheric, you know, another distant place I was transported to. Couldn't even tell where, when, why, but I just kind of envisioned it. Wow. Such an interesting pocket. You know, it was spacey, yet it was dark, kind of terrifying, interesting sounds just flowing all around me. Um, I couldn't, you know, find much info on this album. I, it sounds like it's a concept album. I'm already seeing a big journey here. And again, based on the song titles, maybe you guys can let me know the theme of the album because I would really like to know that. It would definitely help to better understand the music, the journey, but I'm still loving the journey I'm on here. Then on to Pins and Needles, a short and sweet song, but still musically rich. After that intensity of song one, the light returns. Uh, shimmering music, you know, shimmering guitars, shimmering keyboards. And this is the first time I'm calling a keyboard tone adorable. There was this adorable, playful tone on the right that came in. You know what I'm talking about. Really enjoyed that. Um, a very happy feeling in the chorus. Also nice contrast to the darker, more dramatic song one. Overall, this was a smooth and relaxing song and a perfect cool down moment, you know, from the song before it and after it. And then another smooth, seamless transition into double vision. Wow. Once again, boom, we're back soaring in the sky. Thanks to that electric guitar solo by John Mitchell. Sounded wonderful. I already knew at this point, you know, just two songs into their career, um, that they're the masters of setting moods and building worlds, musical worlds, and transporting us there. I don't know if they always do it, but they're certainly doing it in this album so far. I love those splashy keyboard tones just kind of bouncing around. Wow, a nice contrast to the big guitar going on. Plenty of contrast in this band. Um, a nice new musical element around the 50% mark. Another huge guitar melody, kind of a do 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 That was really nice, very striking. All this music can easily complement a sci-fi or fantasy visual movie so well. I was already seeing it in my head. Beautiful. And of course, a big, excellent grand finale coda going on. I love the addition of that angelic choir in the background. Just took it to another level for me. I love choirs in music. Then boom, just like that. The journey's over, pretty abrupt ending there, but I know there's plenty more places that we're going to on this journey called The Visitor.
And based on some of these song titles that are coming up, wow, I can only imagine the places that I'll be transported to on this journey, this movie of an album. Yeah, so of course I loved all this. Right up my alley. You guys knew it would be. Um, I kind of see these as one piece. I don't know if they have other groups of songs in this album that are connected this way. I have a feeling they do. Marillion did the same kind of thing, like in their first album or the 1985 album. But anyway, just loved it. I'm going to rate them all as one piece, and it's easily getting the Epic Platinum Record Award. Yes, completely deserving for Crack in the Ice, Pins and Needles, and Double Vision by Arena 1998. And thank you so much, Clive Nolan, Mick Pointer, John Jowett, Paul Wrightson, and John Mitchell. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. If you wish to chat about these three songs, I would love to know what you think about them. If you have other favorites from Arena, looks like they have only three albums in the 90s that I can do on this channel, but they're long albums, so that's still plenty of music for the future. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past.